Hi guys, I'm Mama Bear to Many. I am mom to 14 children. 12 of those children are still here at home with us. So we are feeding 14 people on a daily basis. We also cook at least once a week for a bunch of other people. Um, so this is going to be my grocery haul. Um, I grocery shop once a month and I try to stay in my first grocery haul. My once a month grocery haul is um, $1,250. My grand total that I want to um, not go over is $1,500 a month. That's $100 a month per person. And then I add another, um, I add another $100 for um, like stock up stuff. I just have $1,500 a month. That's what our plan is and that's what I do. So we shopped, um, how many different stores did we go to today? We went to Sam's Club, we went to Walmart, and we went to the Natural Living Center, which is health food store in our city. So in order to get any place, I need to drive two hours. So if y'all like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. So I'll start right here with the bananas. I got a case of bananas, which was um, 14 bunches of bananas. And then I got these three ones that were a little bit riper and just put those on top there. So all together we have 15, 16, 17 bunches of bananas. So whenever we, we will eat through these and that will probably last us about two weeks. We have some over here that we will eat through first and then we'll go here. Whenever, um, whenever the bananas go brown, then we start making smoothies or bread um, with the bananas and then it just lasts us longer or banana ice cream. So um, then we have this mayonnaise. This mayonnaise basically is for when we go someplace we need to make our own mayonnaise so it doesn't have soy in it because this does have the first ingredient on here is soybean oil. Um, but when we go someplace, we can use this because the other one is really expensive. And this time of year, we're making a lot of like macaroni type salads that use mayonnaise. Um, and then we have this molasses. We totally ran out of our organic coconut oil and this is our first choice for oil. So we got a dozen of these and we go through about two a week because this is our main oil that we use. So probably not all the way to unless we're baking, but we use this for like almost every type of oil. So probably like one and a half to two depending on how much we're making in a week. Then we have these eggs. These eggs were actually marked down to $5.28, which is a really good price. Um, they're USDA organic. And so I grabbed three of those. I was very low in my um, section where I have shelf stable milk. So I added, so I got these right here. These are bigger than what I usually get. I usually get quarts, but they only had the half gallons. So I got eight half gallons. I think there are four or something. The price at Sam's Club for half and half is so much cheaper. So, so much cheaper. I don't remember exactly what it is. I think it's $174. It's um, a lot cheaper than any place else that we have around here. And so then I got, this is the regular um, almond milk that we will use on a day-to-day -day basis for smoothies and such. So this will last us probably about two weeks for these three half gallons. I got eight things of butter. Almost everything that we use is the coconut oil, but occasionally some recipes do not turn out good unless it has actual butter. And then I got the other creamer, um, mainly for a couple people that have allergies and they are having this type of creamer. So I got four of those. So this would be, um, we actually have five, sometimes six um, coffee drinkers. So this will be about one a week um, for that. And then these, we would go through about two a week. And these are a good price. I got these at Walmart. And these are $2.84, I want to say. Or they were at the Walmart by us. So I ended up getting eight of those. Because I needed this shelf-stable milk. I was almost out. I think I had two or three left. Um, 
And then here's some fresh fruits and vegetables. I didn't get too many this week um, because we do have lots of stuff coming in from the garden. But these were actually at the health food store and this was in like a discount rack. It was $1.89 and these were all discounted. So I got quite a few. I figured that today actually I'm gonna make a bunch of um, peanut butter and celery and raisins on top. And the kids love those for a snack. So we'll just make a bunch of those and I'll probably make a potato salad. I'm not quite sure. Um, so I think, I thought I got six of those, but I'm only seeing four. Um, and then I got two onions and then we were at Walmart and they had these um, gala apples were on clearance or I don't know if they're on clearance or if they were just marked down, but it was two eighty four for these organic gala apples. I was super excited about that. So I bought, I believe it was eight bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, eight bags. So we got eight bags of those, which would be 24 pounds of um, apples. And honestly, those will probably take us through about three, maybe even the whole month. Um, so, cause apples stay good, fresh um, for a while. So if I put some in the fridge, and then have some on the um in our little what's it called here we'll have some in there and then we'll have some in the fridge and they will last a while they'll probably last all month i think i'm going to do another video about how how to make your produce last okay so then i got a flat of these um sweet peas and then i have a flat of the corn we were out of the corn and we had like two left of the sweet peas then I got these strawberries. I got five of them. They were two pounds for $3.84, I think, at Sam's Club. And then I got these for my baby. I actually got two of them. She was with us. And um, these were, I don't know, I think $4.84, which is kind of expensive, but I got them for her. And then we got two of these big cucumber bags. I cannot wait until we have cucumbers in the garden, but it is not yet and I wanted to make some salads. And then we got two pound, uh, two 10 pound bags of potatoes. So when I don't have um, organic, I like to just peel whatever I am using. So let me move along this side because I wanna go over this stuff from the health food store a little more specifically, a little closer. So here's the bananas again. So the white vinegar, white distilled vinegar is a great price, it's like, five something you get two of them and um, with canning and with cleaning we use a lot of white vinegar so I got these they only had I got I took all they had so they had six of those and so we got six of those this section right here is kind of our to go so this is the time of year that you're just like grabbing stuff jumping in the vehicle, having a, having a lunch or whatever on the go because it's so warm out. You wanna to go to the um, lake or to the ocean or to a park or whatever. So this section right here that I'm gonna go over is exactly that. So we have um, two big bags of veggie straws. Um, I have these um, corn chips here. So some of these will probably be used for like a taco night and I would cook up some taco meat and some beans and then we would have this with some salsa and some avocado or some guacamole. Um, but we also would take, for lunch, we might take something like this along with one of these packs and then some um, fresh fruits and veggies and just bring that for a lunch. Works out great. Um, I got 10 of these. These are lightly salted um, rice cakes, and the only ingredients in these plain ones, let's see if this will focus in, let's try that again, is whole grain brown rice and salt. So the other ones that are um, flavored do have soy lithocin in them. So just be watchful of that. Um, we have some issues where people get really lightheaded, dizzy, all that type of stuff really fast. Um, blood pressure issues as well as some other issues so we like to keep these on hand so we have body armor for is mainly what we use but I thought that I would get some of these smaller Gatorades just to have in a vehicle so I also got um, these guacamoles 
these are such a great price. I think it's seven something. Um, at my little, at my Walmart buy us, it's like five of them for like six bucks. So this for us is a really good deal. So I will have these, like I said before, with the chips. And that's just quick and easy. Quick and easy is something I like this time of year. Okay. So I got, let me see, one, two. I got six bags of these all together. And then I bought two bags of these Cape Cod potato chips. Another um, quick thing that I will do if I just need to grab and go is I'll grab these and a jar of peanut butter. And then I'll grab, say, a bag of veggie straws or a bag of chips. And then I would grab like a couple bunches of bananas or, you know, a bunch of apples or something like that um, to just stretch it and have a good lunch. So then we have ground flaxseed. Got four bags of that. I was almost out. I've been adding this um, as well to my, um, I started soaking my own chicken feed and I started adding some of this to my chicken feed. So I ran out of that. I actually have like maybe a cup left. Um, sugar in the raw is what we would have whenever I'm making anything that doesn't require the food to be heated. Um, I use that. I know, weird, but that's what I do. Um, I got some basami rice. Basmati. Basmati rice. I said that wrong. Sorry. Um, and then I got three of these brown sugars. I don't use it all that often, but it is good to have on hand. And I only had one left, um, and it was one of the smaller bags, so I wanted to make sure I stocked up on that. Powdered sugar, we really only use when we're making cakes, um, but we have a couple birthdays coming up, so we will need to be making frosting for some cakes. Um, the maple syrup we use in baking, as well as I put a little splash in my coffee. Needed a little mustard. I really want to go to Ray's and get some Ray's mustard, but I haven't been down there that way yet. And then I got a little bit of ketchup. I have some ketchup already. Just I was there and I want to stock up. This is one thing um, where I am. A lot of times each month I'm shopping at a different store and kind of going through a rotation. So there's things that I only buy or try only to buy at Sam's, for instance. So the coconut oil, for instance, is $9, I think, and 34 cents at Sam's Club. The same exact coconut oil, um, same exact size, actually it's one ounce less, is um, $14.84 at my store. So if I went and always bought my coconut oil at that store, I would struggle to be able to supply that need. Um, so I always have certain things that I buy at certain stores. Some things I can buy at any store, but some things have to be like a specific store. So it's kind of like a rotation. Like last month, you probably noticed, if you haven't seen my video last month, I'll link it below. But um, last month I did a lot of pasta because my main shop was actually locally at Walmart and my pasta at Walmart locally is the only place that I can get my gluten-free pasta. So I stocked up a bunch on that and you notice this month I don't have any of that pasta. It's totally new things. So let's see what else I have. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about the health food store now because I think the rest of this we've already gone over. Um... I have a health food store that is the Natural Living Center. I believe it is Mennonite owned and they are really good about ordering bulk things in. So I'll show you my bulk in just a minute. So I needed this for a couple of the recipes that I'm going to try out. It is, I don't know how you say that. You don't need very much of it, but I just bought that much because I've had a hard time trying to find that. Um, we needed a little bit more organic lentils. We needed some pearl barley. This was a really good price. Oops, this was a really good price on the raw almonds. It was $8.99 a pound. It's usually $12.49 a pound. So I grabbed some. This is just going to be kind of like a treat that we would eat like this because I don't want that getting baked down or anything. Those are just like, we'll eat them raw like that. We love adzuki beans. I'm hoping to grow some this year. Um, and that was $29.38. Those are $4.59 a pound. Um, we got some millet flour here. Um, tapioca flour, flour also 
called tapioca starch, which is needed in some recipes. That was a really good price, but this was really all that they had in the bulk bin, unless I was like to pick up the bin and like dump it out. So that's what I got. And then some split peas, 245, those are organic. Okay, so let's head over to the other side. And I am so excited about this last thing. Let me just show you. So, oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot. I bought 50 pounds of regular sugar. So I bought 50 pounds of the Domino um, sugar. This is pure cane sugar. Just a little stid bit. Um, the most sugars, or not most sugars, some sugars are actually beet sugars. We prefer cane sugar. And Domino brand is actually non-GMO. So we would prefer to get Domino brand um, non-GMO sugar over say Walmart brand, which does not say that it's non-GMO. And it is beet sugar. I'm pretty sure it's beet sugar because it doesn't say that it's cane sugar. All right, so that is what we do. Now, all these lovely bags, okay. I have been having such a time trying to find rolled oats at a good price. So years ago, I was I would like stock them up or whatever, and I have a big bin. It holds about 150 pounds in it. And um, we go through that bin, we make granola, we make um, oatmeal, we make cookies, we make all the good stuff, right? And so I have been spending four to seven dollars a pound for oats. Now this store that I um, ordered this stuff in was having a hard time during um, 2020, 2021 with certain items coming in. So I hadn't been ordering from them. So I gave them a call. I was like, oh my goodness, I need oats so bad. I've been like pulling out of my storage. I barely none left. And I was like, I really just need to stock up. And he's like, well, um, they just came down. They're 99 cents a pound, but they are um, under under your discount, it will be less than that. And I was like, really? So this is my super exciting price. Are you seeing that? $39.59. $39.59 for 50 pounds of organic rolled oats. So I have six bags. So I am totally restocked and I am super excited with that. So that is my grocery haul. I'll just give you a little once over again. Now it's time to put it all away. So I'm gonna call for some help. You guys all have a great day. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.